Nearly 50 years ago, this descendant of slaves stood on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial and professed that he had a dream, a dream that all people, regardless of race, would be equal. Now his dream and memory are being honored in our nation's capital. Hello everyone and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trenum. With me now is Harry Johnson, President and CEO of the Washington DC Martin Luther King Jr. National Memorial Foundation. Mr. Johnson, welcome to the program. Well, thank you so much for having me. I can't tell you how happy I am sitting beside you talking about a memorial. <laughs> we talked about this uh, a while back. Yeah. Walk the viewer through, walk me through specifically what this memorial foundation did and is doing. Well, what it did was in fact come up with a concept, uh, what it was gonna look like, obtain the land, uh, put together the necessary boards and infrastructure to raise the money and did in fact raise uh, $116 million of the 120 needed to build the memorial. A couple of historic facts, Correct me if I'm wrong, this is the first memorial that is dedicated to a non-president. Uh, this is the first memorial obviously dedicated to an African American. Th let me stop there. What does that say to you? Well, what it says to me is that anything's possible in this country, and I think what it means to the world in general is how far we have come that now uh, the great mall where we honor our heroes and sheroes will now be diversified like this great country that we now live in. I had the opportunity to take a look at some pictures. Of course, the opening ceremonies yes. um, are occurring this week. Beautiful sight lines. My understanding is the statue is, what, 30 feet high? About 30 feet tall. And, and it's on four acres? Four acres of land between the Lincoln and Jefferson Memorials. And um, when, you, when you walk through the site, you will see uh, on the horizon perhaps uh, another memorial. You'll see the, perhaps the Washington Monument and also the Jefferson, my understanding is? That's correct. When you walk through, you'll see the Washington off to your left, and directly in front of the King, you'll see the Jefferson Memorial. As an African-American, how do you feel? Uh, because I'm almost speechless. <laughs> well, yeah, we all are. And, and I think when people see the memorial for the first time, they're gonna be awestruck uh, to see this great memorial to Dr. King situated between these two wonderful presidents, and that Dr. King is between the two of them. Here's an unfortunate question that I have to ask you. Yeah. Why did it take so long? Well, it takes anybody longer than this in order to complete a memorial. Uh, it took FDR 45 years from concept to completion, so we've actually done fairly well in the 26 years in which this idea came into being. And I think this is an obvious question, but again, I have to ask it. Um, is it open to the general public? Is it free? How do people find out more about this? Well, um, we project? actually invite them to our website, mlkmemorial.org, but yes, this is free. Uh, this is a gift to this great country of ours, and like the other memorials in the area, we want the visitors to come to D.C., experience this, but now get a different Different experience by going to the Martin Luther King Memorial. And for the viewers at home, and of course to learn more about the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Dedication Week, log on to the ded dedicatethedream.org. Once again, it's dedicatethedream.org. I um, want to walk the viewer through specifically the feeling, the overall environment yeah. um, of the memorial. You said it's on four acres. Walk the viewer through specifically what they will see. Well, as soon as they walk through the, a large open plaza area, they will see the plaza getting narrow as they go down into it. And there's water on the side kind of drawing you in. Uh, once you get through the plaza area, you walk through two large boulders of stone. We call those the Mountain of Despair. Uh, 30 feet tall, opening 12 feet. Once on the other side of the uh, Mountain of Despair, on either side, a crescent-shaped wall with Dr. King's quotations, eight on one side, six on the other. And then they walk out towards the Tidal Basin, looking at the Jefferson. There's a third stone that appears as though it was carved out of the Mountain of Despair. On that stone, we call that the Stone of Hope, and Dr. King will be carved on the outside of that stone, looking at Jefferson. So you want the site-goer to have an intimate relationship, if you will, with Dr. King and also obviously with the movement um, and, the, and the, the whole entire idea of who he was and what he was about. Yes, and we also want them to understand that we're honoring Dr. King, the man, but also Dr. King who had the profound messages that crossed uh, not just this country, but indeed the world. And that Dr. King was an international hero as well. My goodness. Well, once again, uh, that website is dedicatethedream.org. The opening festivities are this week. Make sure you come to Washington, D.C. and take a look at this. Mr. Johnson, thank you very much. Thank for you for us. having me. And, of course, thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Tranum. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next time. Take care.